let's all strive to be as confident as Mirabelle, okay? Hi everybody! So as you can see, I got a collection of Disney sticker books from their latest movies. Today we will be doing the Encanto one together! I love this movie and I'm super excited. So quick overview of what it looks like before we start so you can see what it looks like, you know, before I cover the pages and stickers. The first few pages is a dedication to the characters and then later it gets to like storyline stuff. The only family member completely missing is Felix, no idea why. And my boy Camila only has one sticker. So this book comes with over a hundred stickers and you don't use all of them in the book. You only use a quarter of them maybe? and you have a bunch left over, which was what I wanted because I do film journaling, so I wanted the leftover stickers to work with. Plus I get this dedication book, so it's like a two for one special for me. All the stickers you see with a caption underneath of them are the ones you use in the books. All the rest are the leftovers. How this is gonna go, it's gonna be like a podcasty thing. I just talk while I do this. You can either mute my talking and just watch the sticker book or watch and listen to me talk. I am flattered if that's who you are. Different kind of video for me today, I know, but uh, it's been kind of lacking in my life, kind of dull, boring, nothing to really vlog that you guys be interested in. So I thought I'd try something new, do a crappy like video, and I hope you like it. If you do, tell me in the comments or with your thumbs, and let's get started! Okay, before we get into it, I want to acknowledge the lighting change. I know it sucks. I filmed the intro using my phone's flashlight for lighting, but when it came time to film this part, I was like, I don't want the glare covering the stickers and covering the words and you can't see it, so I said the lighting's fine. And some of the time it is fine, it's just a matter of where my head is. The times where you see the page good are the times where my head is not blocking my ceiling light, so admire those moments. For what it's worth, I've already filmed myself doing the Luca sticker book, and I fixed the problem. I filmed it a little differently, so you should like that better, but here's this one. So now let's talk about the movie in question. I've watched it a total of four times so far, which is not a lot compared to most of you on the internet that I've seen. I, I feel pitiful in comparison, but I have the whole movie memorized, so there's that. And each time I watched it, I fell in love or identified with a totally different character, and no other movie has done that for me, which I think is pretty cool. My first rodeo, don't tell the others, but I was all about Bruno. My heart shattered when I saw his play. I thought he was so quirky and funny. He didn't fit in with the others. I just, I related to him in every way. I felt sorry for him. I loved him. Second time I watched it with Ellie and I loved Louisa. I realized how relatable she was. She thinks she sucks and don't we all? Third time, Isabella. The more times I watched it, the more I noticed how hard she was trying to be perfect for her family, and I related to that to a T. Fourth time was when I finally appreciated Mirabelle as the main character, and I realized I was 100% a Mirabelle. While we're on his sticker, let's take a Camilo break and talk about why he's the best and served more screen time. Number one, he had the biggest heart out of all of them. He cared for everybody, not just himself. He helped the townspeople, he helped his family. His whole character was just to make everyone else happy. He loved everybody, he's there for his mama, perfect big brother. Most big brothers pick on their younger siblings, not Camilo. He always looked so proud of Antonio, he was always hyping Antonio up. And aside from Mirabel, he was one of only two that helped save that stupid candle and helped the family. He was the best. And when the day comes we get a sequel, I expect to see more of him. He was my favorite character from the first time I watched it, but he couldn't be one of the four I related to the most because we don't learn anything about his personality except that he's the class clown and has a big heart. That's it. We don't delve into his inner thoughts at all, so hopefully next time. Moving on. I didn't know this capybara had a name, but apparently it's Chispy. And we have TT Peppa. I know TT is another way of saying ant in Spanish, especially depending on where you're from and whatnot. But in the movie, they only refer to her as Tia Peppa, so I don't know what that change is about for the book, but we're rolling with it. While we're on her sticker, let's spread some love to Dolores. I feel like I would relate to her, but like the only part of her personality we delve into is that she's romantically 
lonely or at least because she has someone she loves and she can't be with him which if she wasn't already lonely definitely makes her feel lonely now i feel like if we learned more about her personality that i would relate to her a lot more than i do because we're definitely very similar we have like the same cutesy style we're both quiet we both just listen and know the gossip about everybody just so quiet and sweet and that is definitely me so had they shown her more and delved more into her personality i feel like she would be one of the top people i relate to the most to do each character justice it would be a way longer movie also is it just me or is this a odd photo to choose for isabella's confession like nothing about this photo has anything to do with her confession it doesn't have her new dress, it has flowers not cacti, she's smiling, and she's not truly happy until she has the alternative dress and the cacti not flowers, and I don't know, I don't get it. But this next sticker label I think is so funny and it's not supposed to be funny. Mirabelle calling herself the greatest gift. Like what confidence. This page is all about gifts, and it's saying that she is greater than love. Mirabelle is greater than love, everybody. I like to think Mirabelle made this book herself and called herself that. And this other one that says made by hand. I mean, I guess, but one of these things is definitely not like the other. But if Mirabelle's one of the gifts, competition's over, you know what I'm saying? Oh, hello, shadow from my head. Anyway, her being better than love, let's all strive to be as confident as Mirabelle, okay? And I think that's a good note to leave off on because we are done. I'm going to flip through the book so you can see the finished product. And don't worry, I'll show you a closer look in a minute. Just flipping through to give you an overall view first. And here's all the leftover stickers I didn't use. Again, I'll show you in a sec. I didn't review the movie as much as I wanted to because I got so caught up on talking about the characters. I was trying to talk in relation to the stickers I was doing. And we didn't even talk about every character. Like the husbands in this movie are total husband goals. Good for them. You go Disney. Point is it's definitely turned into just a pure chat with me while I do this sticker book and not a review. And that's okay. I'm fine with that. Let me know if you are because I can totally only talk about the movie. But if you liked this, I can do this too. As you know, I already filmed the one just in case, so I'd be ready to go if you wanted another one of these. But I have three other books I can do one on that I did not film yet, and I could do a different style for each one. I just made these for funsies, but if you have any requests for a different way of doing these, I'm all ears. Actually, I'll be all eyes because I'll be reading your comments, but you know what I mean. For those of you who are actually pausing the video to read all of these, I'm sorry, because if you're listening to my voice too, that must be super annoying. I just figured most people watching this probably won't be pausing to read all of them, and this would be a long segment to just not have me talk. But honestly, if you're listening to me talk this whole time, bless your heart. You are okay in my book. Thank you. I love you to death. Last but certainly not least, a close-up look at all the stickers that were not used in the actual book that I can now use for whatever I want. Again, hope you like this video. Tell me in the comments or with your thumbs. Subscribe. And I hope to see you next time if I didn't bore you to death with this video. Ciao! Or adios, actually.